Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus Christ is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together with exalted hearts, God's people say hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust you are feeling blessed this morning. You have been washed in the blood. Your sins have been forgiven. And you are heir to all the promises of God through Genesis to Revelation. And for that, you should be feeling blessed. Well, friends, I want to begin with a simple wow. It is so hard for me to bring you the message of the Word of God each day and stay away from what is going on in politics. And even more than that, stay away from what is going on in all the false teaching that is being presented. And I can assure you, friends, you will always find a home here where the Word of God is presented to you unadulterated, unmanipulated, and untwisted. It is the goal of this ministry to remain true to Scripture and untainted by man's tradition or opinion. With that being said, today is September the 6th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of Psalm chapter 119, and I want to look at verse 72. Now, before we jump into our text, on August 23rd of this year, there was a lottery ticket that was purchased, and the woman who won the proceeds from this lottery won over $700 million. As she might think at this point, the rest of her life is going to be all that she's ever dreamed of. You may feel that way if you had been the recipient of that ticket. But if you were to go back and look at the testimonies of those who have won these lotteries, you will find that the overall consensus of all of these recipients of these lottery winnings they wish they had never bought the ticket. Many of them are broke and bankrupt. They've lost family members and friends, and some of them have committed suicide. We think that the grass is greener on the other sides, but friends, what I want you to focus upon this morning is that if you know the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, you have far greater riches than the woman who just won that lottery ticket. Look at our text in Psalm 119, where we are told in verse 72, The law of thy mouth, O Lord, is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Aleph, the writer of this psalm, is simply saying, I would rather have you, O God, than all the riches of this world. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have Jesus than than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail-pierced hands. You see, there are many of us that think life would be better if we had all these things, and yet true peace is only found in Jesus, friends. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, They that will be rich, those who desire to be rich, fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Look at verse 11. Thou, O man of God, thou, O woman of God, flee these things, and instead pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of on eternal life. Don't lay hold on a, a lottery ticket. Lay hold on eternal life, friends. You see, one of the greatest gifts that we have that often goes unappreciated, unused, and undervalued is our Bible. Our Bible, friends, one of the greatest gifts ever given to mankind, if not the greatest gift ever given to mankind. And yet, the question is, how do you value your Bible? If there were a fire in your home and you had to run in and grab one thing that you could save, what would you grab? Your cell phone? A picture or family heirloom? 
Would it be some money or some material possession that you have acquired throughout the years? Or friends, would it be your Bible? Now, there are many people that have a Bible, and that Bible can be replaced. I can assure you, friends, my Bible cannot be replaced. It has so many notes, so many markings, so many treasured moments in it that I could never recover it through another Bible. Yes, I'd have the Word of God, but I wouldn't have the years of study and research that have been taken in this Bible, that have been noted in my Bible. And so I can truly tell you my most valued possession is my Bible. I want to leave you today with a two-minute video, friends, and I want you to watch this, and I want to simply ask you, is this how you feel about your Bible? Does this video make you feel warm inside or does it make you feel guilty? Well, I love you, friends. I am so grateful that you are here today to hear the word of God, unadulterated, uncorrupted, and that your desire is to walk as faithfully and humbly before the Lord Jesus as you possibly can. Now, as he wills and until next time, friends, I love you in Jesus and I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy the clip. When's the last time you kissed your Bible, friend? When's the last time you loved it, you cherished it? 